It used to be standing room only inside this cathedral in southern Chile. But these days, not many are singing the praises of their bishop, Juan Barros, appointed three years ago by Pope Francis. Outside the cathedral, other members of the flock demand the resignation of the bishop, who's accused of covering up sex abuses by Chile's most notorious pedophile priest. The Pope may be smiling down at these people, but they are not smiling back. This used to be one of the most faithful Catholic cities in all of Chile, but now these faithful say that they are sad and angry at their Pope. Silvana González accuses him of betraying his promises. The Vatican still covers up abusers, and to boot, in Chile, it rewards them with promotions and positions abroad. The severity we expected from the Pope isn't there. It's unacceptable that a bishop like Barrows, who covered up sex abuses, be put in charge of our diocese. While the protest continued, we caught Bishop Barros leaving through the parking lot. He has long denied any wrongdoing, but evaded the questions about the calls for his resignation. There are many other people doing lovely church work. Many blessings to you. Juan Carlos Cruz, who calls himself a survivor, is only one of those who accuse the bishop of facilitating abuses against them by this man, Father Fernando Caradima. Behind these walls, Caradima abused scores of seminarians while preparing dozens of priests and five bishops, including Bishop Barros. He saw when the priest kissed us, when he touched uh, people's genitals. Um, he was watching. There's reams of testimony of how he was present, and, and till this day, the Pope doesn't acknowledge that. Pure talk, no action. His um, zero tolerance is a false zero tolerance. But just last week, ahead of his trip to Chile and Peru, the Pope ordered the Vatican to take over an elite Catholic group in Peru, after years of charges that its founder, seen here, sexually and physically abused scores of children and adults. Hasta ahora. Until now, what we've had are dramatic gestures, maneuvers for impact and damage control aimed at improving the church's image. That may not be enough to satisfy victims like Juan Carlos Cruz and other critics who insist that while the Pope is here, they'll continue raising their voice to hold the Vatican and its leader accountable. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Osorno, Southern Chile.